New Road News, established 2020, March 31st, edition 4, volume 1. Publication in the South Waikato District at 108, date April the 8th, 2020, Tuesday. Call for letters to the editor. If you have anything that you want to share, please drop it in the letter box on your daily walk for exercise to 108 Mule Road. Letters to the editor are called for that we have a community feedback organ on our road. Editorial. A question has been asked by a couple in their mid-80s about rubbish collection on Yule's Road. Any ideas? Well, recycling came up from two people. Green waste from one, and one said feedback from the council staff to a phone call asked this question. Was a drive rubbish into town? Was to drive rubbish into town of Tokoroa? What about we decide to put our rubbish out by the gate at 9am Fridays and a council rubbish truck comes down the road and picks it up as part of the rates payment? Can we use black bags? Try. Can we use approved bags paid for at the supermarket? Try. What is the worst that can happen? We bring them back in again over the weekend and try 9am Monday, putting the bags out by the letterbox, and then, if that does not work, we bring them in again and put the rubbish bags out at 9am Wednesday. I request my rates money to pick up my bag of rubbish from my gate in this pandemic level 4 on a weekly basis and trial to see if Friday or Monday or Wednesday gets the best council service. Remember, Cabinet have their hands full, so we need to be industrious and imaginative. Safety council staff are trained with appropriate safety measures to handle rubbish training in level floor lockdown. If you are in your mid-80s and fear rats and cats breaking into the rubbish piling up over five weeks, then to put rubbish bags at you roadside. A problem shared is a problem halved. With the dump in our road, council staff drive past and will ask their operationals manager if they can pick it up. Also, this editorial shows phone advice from council is breaking level 4 lockdown spirit in non-essential travel for seniors lumping rubbish around in cars. What is needed is for a note to the letter to the editor from council CO Ben Smith to confirm what is the best day for council. That will be dutifully published here in the Newells Road News and the retired folk can can their worries. Rubbish most important for all council matters to address after water. Thank you for these brave souls that raise this matter on behalf of others on the road. The elderly and recyclers await to hear from CEO Ben Smith. Local Government Minister signed in a letter dated 9 September 2019 stated, quote, Thank you for your letter, 5th of August 2019. Please note that councils are accountable to their communities rather than to ministers for their operational policies and subsequent decisions. Close quote. We may see a farmer pick up rubbish, pick up all rubbish, up in a trailer and deliver it to the rubbish bin outside the warehouse on way to the supermarket. The bin outside council chambers, the responsible repository, signed the editor. All communities need a newsletter. Our road has now has Newell's Road News, established 31st of March 2020. Publications per week, three times, Wednesday, 
Friday, Monday. Strict obedience to a just government requires that all pandemic rules are followed. We are in lockdown four and as day 14 is upon us of 28. This newsletter is delivered with gloved hands and is printed on new paper and it is carried in food hygienic bags. It is delivered during regular permitted exercise by foot or push bike. Wash your hands regularly and keep virus SARS-CoV-2 from entering your eyes, nose or mouth. Wear a mask, glove and eye protection before, during and returning from gathering supplies. Kind regards, Editor Rod Young, Newell's Road News. Note, letters to the editor from Stuart Kinch with artwork filled in will get full A4 next edition.